Welcome back to Babes Art Class. Today I'm doing the most amazing peacock triptych. I already did the center panel and I'll go over at the end of this video on how I did the peacock body. And so I've already prepped the two outside panels with the base coat, which is two parts paint, acrylic paint, four parts Floetrol to one part water. So that's all ready to go. I'm going to start laying down the paints. I have aqua green. I have crystal green metallic. I have a turquoise metallic. I have a bright lime sherbet. I have a sapphire blue. And I have 24 karat gold. And I'm sorry, my bottles are all covered with paint. So I'm going to get started. I have to make sure that each one of them flows properly. So we're starting with the sapphire. And I'm going to kind of go in the direction. That I think the wings are going, the feathers, I should say. And I'll do the same on this side. Just laying the colors down, I'm going to be overlapping them. Okay, so the wings will be going out, the feathers I should say, and then coming back in. So we'll start with that. And I think we'll do some bright lime sherbet. And I put my colors on quickly. I'm not afraid to put the paint on the canvas. If you are, that's okay if you need to go slow. And if I feel the need to go back in later and add more paint, which I usually do, because the white can tend to suck up um, the colors. Now I'm using the metallic green. Locked. Okay, that's flowing better now. And it's already starting to make cells, beautiful cells. And that's because of the flow trough. Now I'm going to use this gorgeous aqua green. Oops. And just go right over the top. You don't have to be too fussy. And then I'm going to put my gold on. So my aqua green squirted out quite a bit there, but we'll just incorporate that. Now 
All right, I'm going to start by using my little hair dryer, but then I'm going to finesse it with a straw. Actually, I need to put a little bit of white on either side to help it move. And this is called a float. Just adds a little more base for the paint to flow in and to do its thing. And cover it. Okay, so there's my start and I can already see that I need to fill in some down here so I don't quite have enough there And it's already starting to make lots of cells. So amazing what this paint does. It's like magic. Alright, so now I'll start with straw
So this is going to need some down here to match. And this I can already tell this one is going to also. some green The edges pretty much, much need to be covered because these, on this side, it mostly covers the edge. Just looking as I go, any place I think needs to be filled in more. And then, of course, once it dries, we'll put in the eyes. And that's what makes it pop. And if you think this is fun to do, you're right, it is. I'm actually going to hold this one up a little bit and work on it because it's a little too far for me to stretch. So I'm going to pull it down here. Make sure you can see it. I'll go this way.
Okay, let's see what that looks like. Pretty good. Because when these are hung, they'll be flush together. So I think that looks really super cool. Wow, what an amazing statement that's going to make. Great big, gorgeous peacock. If you can imagine the three pieces all put together, close together. And so when this dries, we'll go back in and put in the eyes. So I told you at the end of the video, I'd show you how to do the body of the peacock. And please, if you enjoy my video, I hope that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. That will help my channel so that I can bring you some more videos. But you take, I took the sapphire paint and I drew the body of a peacock in very simple body neck and then just you know flare it out at the bottom and then at the top there's a round place for the head and you're gonna have a beak coming out to the right with a little hook at the end the eye is surrounded by turquoise and there really are these little spiky things at the top of the peacock's head that looks like a crown and his eye looks like he's wearing black eye makeup and that's about it you have a beautiful peacock and when we put the eyes in it'll be you can use black dark blue um, put a little gold around it some lighter blue you know any color you want for those eyes And that's it. So thank you very much for watching my video. And I hope I see you again real soon. Bye.